My name is Judy Donius, and I am teaching a class called my Obsessive Color Wash Quilt, the one that's hanging up behind me. For those of you who know me, you know that I have an obsession whenever I get involved in something that I really, really love. I have to make many of them. So I've brought two others to show you how I evolved from this first one. Now, these are done with scraps, and they're done, this particular quilt is done with fabric that is not solid, but reads as solid from a distance, so that you get the idea of a wash of color. And when you're doing this, what you do is you arrange your fabrics in color ways before you put them together, so that you get this color wash effect. This one has, it's pretty tall, this one has over 400 pieces in it. You don't have to make a quilt that's this big, you can make a smaller one, I have two that are smaller but I get so obsessed by it that I get really excited. One of the things I love doing in a quilt like this is I love to fussy cut. And look at this guy sitting here. Here's this wonderful little crow. Here's Ringo Starr. Here's Elvis Presley. And so many other little things that I fussy cut. So you could get into the fussy cut business too. Now this can be made with scraps or if you want to make it really larger and you don't have enough scraps, you can cut into your fabric. You don't need a whole lot of fabric to do this. Um, I want to show you what I did after I did this one. This one is a, a color wash and you can obviously see how the colors go from one to another and get washed across the quilt. My next thought was what will happen if I decide to do it in the opposite way. What if I use a single color, and this is a hand dye, so though it may look like it's different colors, in the center, it's still one fabric in the center, and the outsides are done with things that don't show a single color, but are using a ton of different colors. This one looks totally different from the other one. There is an attempt in it for me to put some fabrics together that do blend in, like this row of green here and this little block of red oranges. But basically, most of these fabrics have so many different colors in it that it gives a totally different effect from the one in the back. The second instance of experimenting was to try to see what would happen if I do it with one colorway. And so I chose green This is the green one. And again, when I put it together, what I did was I attempted to put fabric together that blended together and then ran into another color. So it's, it's still a color wash, but it's a single fabric color color wash. I'm now working on an orange one and a magenta one. And by the time the class starts, I probably will have several more. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do, and I hope to see you in my class. Thanks.